Wow. Yeah. So you said you guys fucked up. How bad is it? Yeah, we all at risk now because my name's got a red flag on it. Yeah, people are gonna start making the connections. Yeah, where the fuck is everyone? Is that all? It's enough. We talking about Bloom here. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son? Yeah, I've been dodging those bastards for years. If you want, I could scrub you from the system. If you give me a couple hours. Just like that? Well, I might have to sacrifice a goat as part of my arcane ritual, but yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you all morning. Turns out Swelter Skelter doesn't have a lost and found. <laughs> nah, it's more of a finder's keeper's policy out there in the desert. What in the hell is he doing here? Yeah, Marcus, why did you invite this stranger into our house? Look, look, it just happened, all right? We were running from these bikers, right? And yeah. look, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's cool. Oh, he's cool. Well, that's good. Because we usually discuss these things as a group. I know. It's my bad. But you met Ray already, right? I want to introduce you to Raymond Kinney. That's Raymond Kinney? I thought you'd be cleaner. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I have a two-second <clears throat> I get this a lot, too. Can we keep him like a hacker in residence? Yeah, we could use his help. He should, he can, he, he can stay here, right? He should, he should stay here. Okay, fine. But if he fucks with any of us, I'm gonna pop his nuts like ripe grapes. Message received. Nice hat. Nice mask. Okay, we're good. You want a beer? Uh, yeah. I would love a beer. Or two. Oh, thank you. Grab the man some hardware, too. He's going to teach us some magic. Guys, I got a lead on a potential pedophile working for home. For fuck's sake. Big Brother's a sex offender? This is exactly why we went after home. So who is this guy? Cole something or other. I don't have a last name. We probably got an employee list from our home head. Let's see. Uh-huh. Cole Lang. I'll find him. Get some evidence. See what kind of person home is harboring.
Hey, yo, T-Bone, I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. No, seriously, activist mode, activate. Hey, man, how do we get Bloom? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on to your joystick, son. You kids are gonna need to work your way up to Bloom, even with me help. Bray, are you briefing him without me? We were supposed to do that together. Uh, no, I just didn't want to trouble you. What trouble? No trouble. Come on, Marcus, let's brief. Okay. So, let's... let's look at the Big Shot data harvester. Our friends at Noodle. Now, every time you search for discount refrigerator or bulldozer porn, they learn more and more about you. Data profiling 101? Uh, right. But what you didn't know was that Bloom's already got their grubby paws all over that data. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good, Sitara. Noodle's data is just what Bloom needs to strengthen the bellwether. Dig their puppet strings in deeper. You know, if we could get a hold of this ammunition, we could take down a whole lot of different targets. I could help with that. You can't hack Noodle unless you get into the server farm. You can't get into the server farm without clearance. Hell, you can't even get on the grounds unless you're an employee there. Who the hell you think Rob Zombie over here gets his intel from? Well, tell me you got clearance. <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to stay low-key right now. One of my leads is breathing down my neck. I bet you Marcus can pose as an employee. Oh, he could do more than pose as an employee, Sitara. Tell him what you told me, Horatio. Noodle buses. I snagged an exploit for credentials. I could get you to the buses. All you gotta do is drive it in. They'll think you're one of the bus drivers. Shit. Yo, let's roll, son. All right. Hey. <laughs> mm hmm Let's do this. Hey. We've treated thousands of satisfied customers. I never thought I'd be able to see without my glasses, but now I can. It's amazing to wake up in the middle of the night and be able to see what time it is without having to squint at my alarm clock. Because your eyesight is important, don't settle for anything less than the best. Call the Laser Eye Corrective Center today. For a free consultation, call one of our many locations throughout the Bay. We're here to help you. Heard on K66FM bringing you everything but the kitchen sink. SFPD have recently claimed that the crime rate is down thanks to an expansion of the CTOS system in the Bay Area. A 
Apparently, it can apply predictive analysis to find crime before it happens. I wish this had been around before my third marriage could have saved me a prenup. We at Sleep Sound feel it's important to give back to our community. That's why we donate part of the proceeds from every mattress sale to the Bay Kids Foundation. Our kids are the future, and so many suffer needless hardships. Help us help them. Remember, not everyone can adopt a child, but anyone can help a child have a better future. The San Francisco cell of hackers known as DedSec has called New Dawn a scam. Members of the hacker cell managed to infiltrate the highly guarded church compound and capture the secretive organization's methods of control over members, including movie star Jimmy Siska. DedSec revealed footage of New Dawn's temple area and demonstrated that the so-called ancient artifacts were simply fakes of what New Dawn claimed were ancient tablets. Guys, somebody's doxing DedSec members. What? Where? I found a payphone with some hardware attached to it. It just started ringing, and there was a recorded message on the other end. It, it said a few names, Stanley L. something, uh, Sleek Street, Nabil Azari. Awazi. Yeah, I know Sleek. Damn, this is a real threat. We need to shut this down fast. Anybody have any ideas? Should we take the hardware? No, leave it for now. I can put together a man-in-the-middle attack to track the other end of the call, but the more we can cover, the better. Yeah, I'll see if I can find more hacked payphones.
Hold your horses. I'm looking through my kitty feeds now, man. Pressure. Ladies and gentlemen, Flakes. pervert Cole. Fucking menace. Let's wreck his world. Last time, I got another ending supply. Okay, so when can we meet? Because I need something new for the weekend. Uh, prices are going up, Gris. This is exclusive material I'm providing. One customer, one kid. I don't know, man. You're not the only dealer in town anymore. This is primo. Oh, hold on, Grizz. Honey, put on your pajamas and brush your teeth, please. What is it? Oh, something's coming that you're really gonna like, Grizz. I'm gonna need two grand. Two grand? Are you out of your mind? Two grand is a fucking bargain. I could go to jail for this shit. You should go to jail for robbing me. You already have my fucking life saving. You know what? Forget I called. I got customers who would remortgage their house. Where'd you go? I'm right here. No, not you, Grizz. Do you have the footage or not? Yeah, yeah, I know everything's cool. Um, uh, on second thought, I got another kid in mind for you. Lost my fucking train of thought. You were talking about bankrupt. Oh, right. <laughs> I could get 4K for this kid. I got an exec in the valley. He doesn't nickel and dime me. Look, I'm just feeling <laughs> squeezed, but I'm definitely interested. Let me see what I can come up with. All right, since you're a long-time customer, Grizz, I'll do it for an even three. The usual spot? Oh, Jesus. I am so fucked. I'll see you there. Okay, I'm leaving now. Oh, and Grizz.